Where's the werewolf tail? Mechanism made of many different links in a chain, like a bicycle chain, except each one of the links along the way connects to the second link down, so that driving one drives the entire chain to go in the same direction. To the left, or to the right. The right hand is going to be on that side, because I'm going to be facing the other direction. Let's see closely. Don't let the lightning fault holes uh, fool you too much. Each one of these is an 8 inch long wooden block, about an inch and a quarter wide, with the, the bolt holes or screw holes at every two inches along the way. Left, right, center, left, right. So I'm skipping the middle part because the middle part is where the, the uh, connector rod goes across. So that has to be about three inches to span across three of these blocks. So, and by adjusting that a little bit, we can adjust how much the next link in the chain moves. We've got an additional block over here and a little foam padding so that it doesn't sit flat against my back but has a nice angle. We have two straps for the drivers, one strap for the base, attach the base to the body. Every prosthetic ought to have five layers. You've got the performer, you've got protection for the performer, you've got the mechanism itself, and then you probably need another layer of padding to protect other people outside the costume, keep them from getting damaged, and finally the decorative layer. So you always have to have a base that sits still and a driver that moves. So with this, I want, as I walk, for the tail to wag left and right. So I have one strap attached to each leg. I can adjust how much each leg moves. By the further, further down I move the strap, the more pull each knee has. So if I'm walking with it, how's this motion? Padding for the outside of the mechanism, as well as the decorative coming, I'm going to have, well, originally I planned to make a nice sock out of fake fur, stick the mechanism inside the sock, like so, and have a little bit of Velcro on the back of the belt. as easy as that. But you see how it sticks when it's got fabric wrapped around all these little moving parts. It causes the motion to jam up and all of those parts need to move separately. So my next step is to take put a separate piece of fur on each one of these wooden blocks and make sure it wraps around and get the, enough fur to cover in all the empty spaces and yet still have enough motion so that the entire tail can move as it wants to. And yeah, I see without friction, it moves pretty easily. That's it for the werewolf tail.